Good evening y'all. I'm sorry it's been a while, I have been real busy with my schedule all the time, punishing Fender and other stuff on my schedule. Just to let you all know, this is the last EMV lesson before the permit test tomorrow. Alright, so let's go on to the last and final DMV lesson, unless Aiden, my son, fails the first time. As a reminder, this test has two times the questions than the actual online thing. So let's move on to DMV lesson 10, car dashboard. Being familiar with the parts of your vehicle and how they work together is an important part of being a safe driver. Your instrument panel contains the following, speedometer, tachometer, odometer, fuel gauge, gear display, turn signal indicators, and active system lights. Can all five of you tell me what they all mean? The speedometer tells you the speed of your vehicle in miles per hour and kilometers per hour if you are in Canada. The tachometer shows how many rotations your engine is making per minute. The odometer shows how many miles your car has traveled in its lifetime. The fuel gauge shows how much fuel remains in your car's tank. The gear display shows which gear your car is currently in. The turn signal indicators flash when your turn signals are on. Both will flash if you turn on your hazard lights. The active system lights alert you to parts of the vehicle that are activated, such as an open trunk or door. Good job everybody! We'll now move on to the next section, which is warning lights and vehicle warning indicators. Below list is the most common warning lights for most automobiles. Some auto manufacturer use different warning lights, and some do not use these warning lights, so always refer to your owner's manual when you are not 100% sure what the light indicates. The temperature warning light. This indicates that your car's engine is overheated and may need more coolant. If this light turns on while you are driving, pull over as soon as possible and turn off your engine. You may need to add coolant to your vehicle's coolant reservoir, however, never open your vehicle's coolant reservoir cap while the engine is still hot. You may need to wait for a while until the engine is cool, then you can open your coolant reservoir cap and add coolant. The oil pressure warning light. This indicates that your oil level may be too low. Check your oil dipstick and add oil if necessary. If your warning light is still lit after adding oil, visit a mechanic. The check engine warning light. This indicates that there is a serious problem with the engine that requires your immediate attention. You may need to take your vehicle to a mechanic right away. If the engine light comes on in conjunction with other warning lights such as the temperature warning light or oil pressure warning light, Pull over and turn off the engine and follow the instructions above for the issues relating to temperature and oil pressure. The tire pressure warning light, this indicates that one or more of your vehicle's tires have low pressure. On occasions, this happens when one or more of your tires are getting close to going flat due to possible damage or because you may have driven over a nail or sharp object. If this light comes on while you are driving on the highway at the higher speed, grab your steering wheel firmly so you can control your car better in case of a tire blowout, start slowing down, and pull over the vehicle as soon as you can. Then take your vehicle to a tire center for tire inspection. The brake system warning light, this indicates that there is a problem with the brake system. Also, you may have left your parking brake on, or you may have low brake fluid. If you do not have your parking brake on, your vehicle's brake fluid is okay, and your brake system warning light still comes on. You need to stop driving the vehicle and take the vehicle to a mechanic for repairing the brake system. The ABS warning light, this indicates that your vehicle's anti-lock brake system, or ABS, has been deactivated due to an issue with the ABS however, the standard brake system is working. ABS is important for situations when you need to stop the vehicle suddenly, or you need to brake on a wet or slippery road. Thus, it is recommended to fix the ABS issue as soon as possible. If both the brake system warning light and ABS warning light come on while you're driving, pull over immediately, there is the possibility that your brake system is not working. Take your vehicle to a mechanic. The electronic stability control light, this indicates that the vehicle's traction control is activated to prevent skidding, this is caused by slippery driving conditions. The transmission temperature warning light, this indicates that the transmission's current temperature is higher than normal. Pull over and let the engine cool and then check the coolant level and transmission fluid level. 
If both are at the correct level and your transmission temperature warning light is still on, take your vehicle to a mechanic. The battery warning light, this indicates that your vehicle's charging system is not working correctly, and the engine is not getting enough power. This problem may be caused by your battery's condition or its terminal connections, or your vehicle's alternator or alternator belt. Don't turn off the engine because it may not turn on again and take the vehicle to a nearest parts store or mechanic. Parts stores usually have a tester that can test the battery and alternator for you at no charge. The airbag warning light, this indicates that your vehicle's airbag system is not working properly. Take your vehicle to a mechanic or a dealer to fix this safety issue. If this light shows if you are involved in a crash, you could get injured or killed. The door ajar warning light, this indicates that there is a door or the trunk door is open. Make sure that all of the doors and hood and trunk are closed before starting to drive your vehicle. Also, if you leave your door open and the vehicle's light is on, it can drain your battery. And finally the fog lamp, this indicates that the vehicle's front lamp is on. And that wraps up and concludes my DMV sessions, both virtual and in person, unless Aiden fails the first time, if he does, he'll schedule another, and we'll have makeups in case y'all miss them. Class dismissed for good unless for makeup appointments.